these are the three stoic ideas that, if applied correctly, can get you those top A and A star grades. Now, number one is believing in yourself and your abilities. And this links to an interesting quote by Seneca that we have more fear in the imagination than the actual reality of that particular fear. And that's really true when it comes to IGCSE maths. We have all these hang-ups, all these fears about, okay, will that really difficult vector question appear or that really difficult trigonometry question appear? And this is where your preparation is key. And using my videos, using my IGCSE math system, which you can check out above, that gives you that inner confidence that when you do come to the exam, 60% of that exam, 70% of the exam is familiar. And that allows you to really believe in your abilities and the belief that you can get those top grades. Number two is that you can only focus on what you control. And this is something Marcus Aurelius has said in his meditations um, journal. And this is a really important point to consider. Now, I do make IGCSE maths prediction videos for you. Again, you can check out the most recent one above here. And this then gives you the control, the, okay, I know trigonometry appears this amount uh, of the time over the last couple of years. I know, for example, mensuration appears this amount. And that control gives you that inner belief from point one and allows you then to go, okay, I know these topics, I know these really in good detail, and I'm going to show the examiner what I know in that exam. And having that positive mindset uh, with what you can control is very, very important. Number three is probably the most important stoic piece of philosophy uh, for your IGCSE exams, and that is imagining potential problems and how you overcome them. So for example, you check out the video above, I go through trigger words. So these are words that come up and are asking for a particular action. So if I'm in the exam and I'm imagining a potential problem, perhaps there is a trigger word I'm not familiar with, what strategies do I have to actually actually overcome that particular problem. Uh, one of the biggest strategies to remember is drawing a diagram. So making sure you draw a diagram of the particular situation. This will then prompt you to then think about the ideas that you've really taken in from my videos. In addition, for example, you've got an algebraic equation and you're not sure how to go about solving it, then substituting in some values and seeing if you can work out the missing value is a very important technique. So imagine the kind of problems, particularly those AA star questions that can arise and having a mental strategy, a mental structure to solve those is very important. If you need an overview of all the different strategies and different topics that could appear, then do check out the video right over here because that goes through that in two hours. Try to be as concise as possible for what you need to know.